Hey guys, it's me, Alberto. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video uh, for you guys because um, I want to show you something really cool. But first off, um, let's talk about the lightsabers on Galaxy's Edge. Now, that experience in that shop in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge was, in, was amazing. And I completely like geeked out uh, of course there was like uh, the special ceremony hat going on and um, and, it, and it was great building the lightsaber hearing different stories about you know about the kyber crystal which is really cool and in Sabi's workshop you do get to select the blade that you wanted and um, also the crystal that you want it and also it all starts out with this give me one minute you will get a pen like this one depending on the lightsaber you have they will bring it to you on your station inside the building now, of course these are pricey 200 bucks plus tax so in total it's uh, $215 but it's worth it it's really worth it so once you select the lightsaber and they'll give you a card that has this, the symbol of, of, of your lightsaber now before you get in make sure you guys have your pin on you so that way the the scavengers know uh, what kind of lightsaber that you're going to be building. And of course, these are the pieces, of course, hilts, your, your button, your bottom, and your top. The reason why these parts are only for for your lightsabers because there are the other ones too which I can't show you a picture of the tray which I should have done um, uh, it comes in with uh, you know four different handles uh, two sets of, of these uh, button triggers and of course four sets well two for the top and two for the bottom and like I said two sets for the button so this is set number one and there's another set the thing is about building your lightsaber is that you can't keep all the pieces I know it it would have been cool to take the rest of the pieces home in a case but you know they have to go with the theme that it's it's leftover scrap metal so uh, my, my lightsaber let's, let's go on with that uh, it's a protection and defend I like the the look of the lightsaber for for protection the fan cuz if you can see there is writing on this handle ancient jedi writing cuz that's the one I wanted to use as my handle and of course this piece here it looks really cool this is the on and off switch and of course it's just the the back you know and of course this cool other handle and it's crafted in gold sorry I have to crack the nose and this bottom piece this bottom piece is pretty cool because it looks like it has little it reminds me of a little bit of a like a robot or Batman uh, Batman ears you know but I, I like how it looks and also once you know the ceremony starts and all and of course the person will talk about the lightsaber and then about the kyber crystals I'm happy that that uh, Lucasfilm and Disney decided to for the lightsabers hey let's go back and do the kyber crystals because when they first did the build your own lightsaber experience well, when uh, the prequels movies came out they did have the kyber crystals but not like this they had chip chip like uh, uh, chip like colors you, you're green, you're red, and you're blue. So that's that was like back then when uh, Attack of the Clones, I believe, came out. But this is different. This is different. Um, 
So what you once you know the, the small speech uh, ends, they're gonna bring you your your lightsaber parts, you know your 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 parts, and also this this is plastic. This whole thing is plastic. Oh, and uh, if you're worried about the batteries, the batteries are like. Okay. Yeah, it's a push and twist. The batteries are right here. Triple A batteries, three batteries, and um, there's a screw right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a screw right here. You need those itty bitty screwdrivers to unscrew it. But don't screw, don't screw on uh, these. Uh, that, that's like the, the speaker for the sound. So don't screw that. Screw out uh, this one if you guys can do that. So that's for the batteries. All I have to do is just pop it back in. If I remember where to put it. Looking, 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 looking. Nope, that's the wrong hole. Oh. There we go. I have to push and twist. See, it did a misfire. Funny enough, it's not. Oh, whatever. Uh, so, uh, the the person that is hosting the the show uh, is gonna ask you to select the Kyra crystal that calls to you. Mine is the blue. Oops. Sorry, blue. Mine is the blue Kyra crystal. Uh, the four Kyra crystals that you get to decide is blue. Hold on a minute. I'll tell I'll tell you why I got a second uh, crystal in a moment. Green, white. I mean, no, scratch that. No, no white. Uh, it was, of course, blue and green, red and purple. Those are the main four in Savvy's workshop. About the other crystals that I was about to say was yellow and white. I don't have those. Why? They ran out too too fast when I first got into the land. Which I should have asked someone to like stay in line for me and uh, go get the other two crystals. That was my mistake. But anyway, um, once you decide what crystal you want, you start building. Of course, the people in the shop will help you out to build your lightsaber. Now, there is a spring right up here. There is a spring. You have to push up to put in your crystal. So, you gotta figure out which is gonna be your top and bottom. So this is gonna go like this. You put in the the, the tip first. And you gotta make sure it's in all the way. Give it a little spin to make sure it's okay. It's in all the way. As you, you can see, there is a glow. There is a glow. There is a glow. So once once it's completely in, you start building. So this is my first piece, the one with the ancient writing. You gotta make sure that that the big ring on your hilts goes in first. But before we do that, you gotta put in the buttons. The the button. If you can see that there's a red here, match it up with the red right there so red for red like so Hope I have it right okay that's one and then there's another one for this one blue if you guys can see it blue so blue for blue red for red once that it's in you can test it out for yourself to see how it sounds hear it again and again that's called a misfire, so that means it's ready to go. Now then, your certain pieces. Handle number one. Got to get like a tight feeling. These are these are metal, guys. These are metal. Uh, hilt number two, the handle number two. Put that in there. You can decide which ones you want, what feels great. And because the experience is 15 minutes, you gotta time yourself. 
because you don't want to waste the people's time in there because they will uh, get a little upset. So far when I went, no one was like upset or anything. They're very patient, very calm. You know, I don't know. Actually, I believe they, 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 don't, they don't ask us to hurry up. No, they don't. They don't. Otherwise, uh, that could be problems. But yeah. Oh, there we go. I don't know the bottom pieces I can wear right now. There we go. I got it. I got it. You can tell that this is very squeaky because it's now like hitting metal to metal now. And as you can see, it is complete. And now you can test it again. Misfire. Misfire. And once your lightsaber is complete, the, the hilt, they will ask you to place it down on a holder. And then once everyone's finished, um, the hostess will ask us to back up and let the other people put in the 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 hilts into this into this chamber. Which I'll get to it. If you can. And this is the blade that comes out of the chamber. So Okay, it's gonna go in, and it's on. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. Okay, it made a noise. And once it's in, it tells me that it's locked and ready to go. Now, the ceremony continues, and then a voice will come out of nowhere. I won't say any, I won't say the voice, but if you have heard it on YouTube, then you know who I'm gonna be talking about. And then, once the host asks us to get close, put your hand on that on the handle, but not don't turn it on yet, because everyone in the room will turn on their saber together. And behold, it's my blue lightsaber. It does sound like your typical lightsaber back when the lightsabers were kind of like me eh. and this is battle ready because some people say it's not but it, it is battle ready okay so it's ready you know it's done and then they give you like something cool to put in your lightsaber which is your saber sheath you know, there's the symbol for Savvy's Workshop. They, they will give this to you as you go out. Everyone will get one. And so, yeah, so it will protect your lightsaber as you're going throughout the land. And now, the green kyber crystal that I showed you guys will be in this cylinder. Uh, Doc Gonder's uh, Shop of Antiquities has kyber crystals. And now, if you have someone with you and you're in line for getting your, your lightsaber, ask that person to stay in line for you. So you can just run over to Savvy's Workshop to pick up the other crystals that you want. That is a pro tip because me, I didn't do that because I did, do want to get my white and yellow crystal. But I will be going next month in July. I will be going with a friend because he's going to build one and I'll be going with him. So yeah, Doc Unders has um, more crystals. More blue, more green, more yeah, more purple, and more red. And uh, and now yellow and white. Those are the, the rare ones. Those are the rare kyber crystals that I actually want to get. And I'm pretty sure you guys heard about the black kyber crystal, the Ascidium, the Ascidium black kyber crystal. That crystal I did not know about because it was supposed to be a surprise uh, Easter egg kind of kind of surprise, and and already it kind of ruined the experience for everyone to find this crystal because a lot of people have been cheating. I have gone to the shop. I think it was I think it was the second time I was trying to look for my yellow and white crystal crystals. 
and I saw somebody like checking out the, you know, red. It's a red cylinder, and uh, they of course they would pull one out and then they will like shine a light to make sure it's like, oh, I got it. It's like that's not cool. That's not fair. Cause because when people do that, there's still a lot more red crystals sitting there. It's just sitting there. And that that uh, that kind of upsets me. That ruins the magic. If if people didn't found that video, or people if they didn't made that video, it would have been great. But anyway, you get different kyber crystals at the shop, and these work with the lightsaber you bought. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see that, so I'll do that right now. So green kyber crystal. You open up your blade. To get to the to the activation plate. Right there. Okay. Bye bye blue. Right, again, you gotta make sure that the top tip goes in first and then the bottom tip. Let me bring the Camera down a little bit. There we go. See, I put it in the bottom piece up in first, but remember there is a spring. There is a spring. Push this up. Of course, it's blowing because I did took off the. The, the 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 battery by accident and of course put in your activation plate I think it's on backwards activation plate saying you can see the crystal and you can put your activation plate to check out the you know to see how the crystal is because you guys can't see the crystal. I don't know if. Uh... Yeah, it's glowing. Okay, turn up a little bit. And here we go. And it's green now. I will get the other crystals um, once I go, you know, next month. And of course, the green crystal does sound differently. It does sound like looks lightsaber, which is pretty cool. Okay. And now I'll move the crystal. Put back the blue. And I will keep it blue until I get my white and yellow crystal. Just give it a little spin to make sure it's all in there. Put back your your pieces and you just tighten it up. Tighten up the whole thing. Ah, there. And there you have it. Now what was also fun about these crystals too, they work in holocrons. If you don't know what holocrons are, they are ancient message uh, messages. Could be from anyone, and I do have one. Let me show you. I got my my holocron, and this is a Jedi holocron. There is a Sith holocron, and it's red. And these holocrons do have messages. There's a dark button right here and a dark button right here. To hear the message, you gotta press them together. This is Master Obi Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen, with the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. 
This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. Which is pretty cool. I do like this. Because not only it has messages, but can also put your crystals. Let's do the green. Every kyber crystal has a message. You just pop it in into the door. And then you turn it on. And the holocron turns green. Now let's see who is inside. Concentrate. Feel the force. Oh, yes, good. Through the Force, things you will see, other places, the future, the past. And that was Master Yoda. For my ally is the Force, and the powerful ally it is. Life creates it, makes it grow. It's energy. Surrounds us and binds us. Luminous beings are we, not this crude matter. You must feel the force around you. And that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, your your lightsaber's kyber crystal also works with the holocrons. Sith or the Jedi holocron. So, I'm going to show you one more um, demonstration of these uh, kyber crystals from the lightsaber itself. So let's get it out again. I'm pretty much used to taking it apart. So we'll take this bad boy out. Easy does it. Now this is my blue crystal that I picked from Savvy's workshop. So let's pop it in, like so. Close the door, turn it on. There we go. As you can see, it's completely blue. Now, let's see who's inside, shall we? It was a Jedi Master who was responsible for the training and creation of Oh, it kind of closed on me. Okay, let's try that again. What do you know about the Force? I will not be the last Jedi. Balance. Powerful light, powerful darkness. I will teach you the ways of the Jedi. Now that they're extinct, the Jedi are romanticized, deified. If you strip away the myth and look at their deeds, <laughs> the legacy of the Jedi is failure, hypocrisy, hubris. Balance. Powerful light, powerful darkness. Breathe. Just breathe. Reach out with your feelings. What do you see? I will not be the last Jedi. This is the lesson. That force does not belong to the Jedi. To say that if the Jedi die, the light dies is vanity. Can you feel that? Breathe. Just breathe. To see Reach out with your feelings. So what do you see? Now that they're extinct, the Jedi are romanticized, deified. If you strip away the myth and look at their deeds, <laughs> the legacy of the Jedi is failure, hypocrisy, hubris. I will not be the last Jedi. Okay, let's pause it. Darkness. I 
并没有积极的维持的下来。那啊，分来啊，分这里呢。I've seen this raw strength only once before. Now that they're extinct, the Jedi are romanticized, deified. If you strip away the myth and look at their deeds, <laughs> the legacy of the Jedi is failure, hypocrisy, hubris. Well, you guys get the idea. I have Luke's、uh, voice inside my blue crystal. So, yeah, you can collect these. So all you have to do is just keep visiting Disneyland over and over and over again. Or just stay in the land and start collecting as much as possible. But for me, I am gonna get my yellow and white crystal, maybe purple, not red, because I'm not getting red. So you guys get the idea how these these things work, both the lightsaber and the holocron. So, what you guys think? Are you guys going to go to Galaxy's Edge、uh, on the 24th or, or and beyond? Or are you guys gonna wait? It's up to you guys. Well, I, that's all I have to say. Catch you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.